Konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese sweets and treats. Today we have three treats to try from Sakurako. So we are actually starting with Sakurako's white chocolate fruit. This month the fruit is actually apple, which should be pretty good. Then we have these Saitama pear gummies. And some of you might know this, some of you might not, but there are some very different types of pears that you get over in Asia. And I actually got the chance to try them when I was a kid. Uh, my mother would periodically find them at the grocery store and buy them. And they are crisper than the pears you usually see stateside. Uh, the flavor is subtly different. I like it a lot. I, I like both pears, but I really love uh, these Asian style of pears. I am very excited to get to try these gummies. Uh, just because, you know, this is a fruit that I really like a lot. Uh, and I don't see these this flavor show up much, even in the Asian sweets. I just haven't run into it personally that often. Very excited. And then to finish it off, we have these Rakugan. These are actually Oni and Otofuku uh, shaped. And so we're only going to try one of the two just because uh, there's no flavorings added to them. So they're going to taste the same. Just a question of the coloring. Uh, but yeah, this should be good. So let's get started. Itadakimasu! Starting with... The white chocolate fruit. And yeah, you can just totally see that this very much was... A slice of apple that they dehydrated. Buying into these is always crazy for me because I've had uh, my fair share of dried fruits. And when you bite in them, they ca they have a very distinct texture. And so I'm always kind of expecting that kind of crinkly, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but that very dry, crinkly kind of texture as you bite through. And I get none of that when eating these. It's more, it's a lot more similar to biting through a piece of white chocolate. It's still not quite, it's... Uh, a little papery crispness to it, uh, but nothing like you would expect from a dried fruit. It also kind of has a bit of a sour tang to it that I did not expect. Uh, last month, you may remember, uh, we had the bananas, and I don't remember that coming through with the banana at all, uh, only with this apple, which is really kind of interesting to me. Uh, still not bad, especially if you like apple. Uh, yeah, pretty fun. Definitely recommend these uh, chocolate infused fruits are always just so interesting uh, to try. I'm going to just rip that off. But yeah, they're just very interesting to try. Definitely, uh, definitely should give that a shot. If you care for apple, then try to see if you can get your hands on the apple. Uh, if not, I'm sure they will come uh, cycle around to a fruit that you do enjoy. And I definitely recommend uh, giving it a shot when you find a fruit that you think uh, might pair well with the white chocolate. I personally will be trying all of them, but so the Saitama pear gummy, which again, just so excited for. Japanese fruit candies are so good. They're really great at capturing the flavor of the fruit. Mm, and it smells like usual. It smells strongly of the pears. Honestly, that was about as good as I hoped it would be. <laughs> um, texturally, it's kind of interesting because uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but on the front, 
there's this little diagram and you can see that the gummy is actually filled and that is accurate. The top part is definitely softer and there's a bit of a gel filling and the bottom part of the gummy is uh, definitely thicker and uh, uh, tougher to kind of chew through. The flavor, her speaking, it tastes like one of these pears and it tastes so good. It's not overly sweet. It's just kind of that delicate flavor, but it is very, very much there. It really, really does a great job at capturing the flavor of these Saitama pears. Uh, if you if you haven't had the chance to, I highly recommend. Uh, I, I don't think I can recommend these enough. This is so good. Uh, if you've had these pears before, hers before it's going to taste just like that and if you hadn't had them before give it a shot anyways you'll get a great idea of kind of what they taste like even if you won't uh know the texture so happy with how these ones turned out okay okay this i'm definitely gonna have to have my scissors for ah, where have you gone and we are actually going to try the Oni mask. Well, and you can see there's that Otofuku. And here's our Oni demon mask. And just all the fine little details on this and it's basically if i remember correctly just rice flour sugar and for this one a bit of coloring and that's it So it has a tiny bit of crunch from the sugar crystals as you chew through it, but it also kind of just slowly starts melting a bit in your mouth. It doesn't have any particular flavor, but it is just really kind of, I don't know, fun to try. Also, this is, this style of confection from Japan is a very ancient form of confection. Uh, and you know, the detail of artwork that goes into carving the molds for these is really kind of cool. Uh, it makes it really fun to try, you know, getting to eat a little Oni mask. That's kind of fun. Gochi so sama. So again, we did the uh, Sakura Ko's white chocolate fruit apple edition, which it actually is just kind of textually these things always kind of just blow my mind a little bit because it's even after having tried several chocolate infused fruits it just i never quite get used to it uh should definitely give them a try uh, at some point if you get the chance highly recommend we did the saitama pear gummies which so good so delicious they really do uh taste like these Japanese pears and they are so good uh definitely worth the chance hands uh if you're willing to if you're willing to give it a try you should definitely go for it and then we had the oni and otofuku shaped rakugan uh, which are just so fun to uh, look at and it's kind of crazy uh how it has kind of that slight crunch as you're biting through it, as it simultaneously is just melting in your mouth. It is kind of a crazy experience eating these. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Johnny!